I hope you are enjoying the learning experience with us. Please download Scholars Learning app. So indirect oral investigation is the other method of collecting data through primary sources. Now what is indirect oral investigation? See when you have to collect a data for a worker, what you do, you do not direct directly take the information from the worker. You are an investigator. Who knows worker very well? The employer. So as an investigator, rather going to the worker, you go to the employer and take the information about the worker. So you do not directly go to the informant, but you go to the person who is very near to, closely related to that particular person from whom we want to collect the information. Let's suppose you want to have an information for a child or infant who is just 3 years old. You cannot collect the information from an infant. You have to collect the information from their parents. So in this case, this is your indirect oral investigation. Indirect in, uh, oral investigation is the method by which information is obtained not from the person regarding whom the information is needed. It is collected orally from other persons who are expected to possess the necessary information. In this case the employer and in this case the parents. These other persons are also known as witnesses. For example, if you have to find out, I've given you the two examples. So these are the examples of the indirect oral invest, uh, investigation. Now, where it is suitable? Let's understand the suitability. The field of investigation is relatively large when the area of investigation is large. Suppose there are thousand workers under one employer. So in that case you just have to get the information from one person rather than from taking from the thousand workers so the area of investigation in this case large so you can cover larger area of investigation just because you have to connect with only one person so you can devote more time and take more area for investigation it is not possible to have direct contact with the concerned informants when there is when you cannot directly contact, uh, contact the infant so in that case you have to contact the parent so the indirect oral investigation method is used where it is not possible to contact with the concern in for means the person who is giving you the information or for whom the information is actually collected is your informant. The concerned information are not capable of giving information because of their ignorance or illiteracy. The workers might be illiterate so they are not able to give the information. So where informants are not able to give Here the child is not able to give inf information himself. Here the worker might not be able to give information because he is illiterate. Fourth is investigation is so complex in nature that only experts can give information. That you want to have a high or complex information. In that case the workers are not able to give you only a expert can give you. So when investigation is complex 
that only exports can give information so in that case you use your indirect oral investigation method what are the merits of indirect oral investigation method wide coverage you can cover wide area and collect the information second is your less expensive because there is no direct contact with the informant you don't have to go personally to the informant whereas you have to go to the witnesses or the person connected to the informants so it is less expensive expert opinion you get the expert opinion while collecting the information fourth is your free from bias this method is relatively free from the person biasness of the investigator fifth is your simple this method is very simple for collecting the data through primary sources what are the demerits less accurate because see somebody else is giving the information on your behalf so it can be less accurate doubtful conclusions the conclusions that are drawn might be doubtful because uh there will be some there might be some flaws in the information connected uh, collected from the witnesses so it can be less accurate as well because someone uh, oh, sorry, we have written this less accurate it can be len uh, lengthy process as well right so less reliable the data might be less reliable so these are the some demerits of this method of data collection